There are thousands of street vendors who play a role in the everyday lives of our communities. The final stages of implementing a bill backing vendors could make it easier for them. 8 News Now, Wayne Garazi Moore with the different concerns of both a vendor and neighborhood. It's a setup of a truck, table, and a tent. People waiting in long lines for these Mexican snacks. El otro está muy picoso. Keeping sidewalk vendors like Mareli Rosales quite busy at the park. Her husband works full time, but it's not enough to support their family. Can you show me what you have in here? Me puede enseñar lo que tiene aquí adentro. Claro, es nieve de garrafa. This is traditional ice cream from Mexico. All of it is homemade. Y ahorita sí le dejan, sí le dan permiso de estar aquí en el parque. Do they give you guys permission to come or you just set up shop? We're just here and whatever happens, happens. Rosales says she hasn't been able to obtain a health permit, but says Senate Bill 92 could change that. SB 92 was passed by the state legislature last year. It paves the way for street vendors to become legalized in Washoe and Clark County and also obtain health permits, although vendors won't be able to set up just anywhere. It was signed into law by Governor Joe Lombardo. State Senator Fabian Doñate championed the law. A lot of us are immigrants. We come to this country and we sell food as our way to survive. <laughs> Right now, there is no ordinance or license in place in county and city jurisdictions for sidewalk vendors. And more eyes are on them than ever before, especially in Sky Canyon. We seem to see a growing number of vendors out in our area, and so our office is receiving a lot of calls. Las Vegas Councilwoman Nancy Bruni says the majority of complaints are not about the usual corn man or fruit cart, which is what SB 92 advocates for. A lot of our concern is is the, the vendors that are setting up with the, the grills and the lights. Those pop-up vendors have different requirements. Then there's Leah O'Connor, who lives in Sky Canyon and sees the issue. What do you think needs to be done? Basically, we'd just like to see some, some oversight in terms of how they get set up. And aside from their different backgrounds, they want the same thing. It's a matter of equity and parity across, you know, um, everyone who's trying to provide some sort of food option to our residents. And how can we help these folks get into better options? We are not bad people. We are for following the law. All working towards a dream for a better life. Ozzy Mora, 8 News Now. Senator Fabian Donate says Clark County will be the first to vote on the ordinance tomorrow during the commissioner's meeting. This would create a pathway for vendors to be licensed.